my name is Daniel Louis, and I'm here with uh, Zinnabus. You know. Um, have you ever been stereotyped before? Yeah, I've been stereotyped a lot. You know, growing up, you know, you get stereotyped for being a terrorist. They just think you're a terrorist. You know. And you know, it's also because I'm brown. You know, like you just you just get stereotyped like that. But it feels terrible inside. You know. Yeah. Sorry and, about that. Yeah. And uh, how has this impacted you? I mean, it's impacted me pretty negatively, bro. I'd be having negative thoughts about my religion, you know, like to stop believing in it. But you know, you know, you just gotta get over it and keep believing in what you believe. In. Like what you can't do. And have you yeah. tried to? Have you ever witnessed someone being stereotyped before? Yes, yes, a lot of times. Um, like a lot of people make jokes about like uh, black people and uh, Mexicans, and they just like make fun of them a lot, you know. And the biggest thing is that white people never get stereotyped, which, you know, I feel like we could change because, you know, we're all equal. We're all humans. So we should fix that. For real. Yeah. All right. Thank you. I right, appreciate it. Okay. Uh, I'm Zane Abbas, and I'm here with Daniel Louie. Okay. Um, hey, man, have you ever been stereotyped before? Uh, yeah, I've been stereotyped for uh, being Asian, and things have been said to me like being like bad drivers and stuff like yeah, that. Man. Okay, how does that make you feel, man? Uh, it doesn't make me feel great, and um, I don't know. It's just a lot of. I think that prejudices just aren't good to hold against people. For sure, man. I feel that. But like, um, so so like, have you have you ever noticed someone being stereotyped before? Uh, probably with, yeah, probably within, like, my own family and stuff, and friends before. I've seen definitely people being stereotyped. Yeah. How, how do you think we can get rid of these stereotypes, man? Um, I think that just by trying to not bring things like that up, and just treating everyone equal. For sure, man. That's great. All right. Appreciate you, man. Okay, I'm Zane Boss, and I'm here with Garrett Camita. Okay, so how, how do stereotypes impact our identities? Um, I think they affect us in a negative way, in the fact that like stereotypes are never true, and I think that makes people change their whole mentality and affects them as a person. Okay, and well, what do you think we can do about these uh, uh, stereotypes? Um, I think the first step to elimination is empathy. Being able to feel what a stereotype really means and what it does to you can like allow people to change, even though it's going to be hard. Okay, thank you, man. Yeah, appreciate you. Okay, I'm Zane Boss, and I'm here with Mustafa. Okay. Um, so, how does stereotype impact our personal identity? I think um, a lot of people get caught in the trap where they actually start to believe in things what others say. So, like, if someone calls you like a terrorist or some shit, it's gonna stick in you. You're gonna start getting dissed by others and you're gonna fall into that trap where you constantly believe what others think and say about you it's gonna make you feel insecure I think you have to get over the fact that whatever like other people think doesn't really matter you should really move on focus on your own life instead of what others think about you on so, God bro I'm with you appreciate you yes sir my name is Daniel Louie and I'm here with Yodem Guy um, and the question is, have you been stereotyped before? Uh, yeah. Yes, dude. And, uh, in which ways? Uh, being Jewish, you know, uh, people kind of stereotype me. You know, uh, like some people call me a goblin one time. I didn't really care. Um, have you seen other people get stereotyped before? Uh, yeah. They didn't feel, I don't think they looked hurt, because when I saw it, I was kind of like far away. But yeah. Cool. Thank you. Got you. Okay, I'm Zane Boss, and I'm here with Drake Talk Okay, okay. Um, so, have you ever been stereotyped before? Yeah. Okay. In what ways, man? Uh, Explain. Well, I can't obviously say on camera because it's very inappropriate. But since I'm Middle Eastern, Colombian, I've been using my imagination. Uh, some of the mean things they said to me kind of hurt my feelings. Yeah, that's tough, man. Okay, so how does it make you feel inside? Uh, it kind of makes me feel down, sad, depressed, honestly that someone could come up with such hurtful things. Um, so, how do you think we can get rid of these, man? Um, you 
guys just like be nice to one another. It's corny, but like for real, stop like spreading hate and kind of be productive in terms of spreading positive messages. Okay. All right. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. I'm Zane Abbas, and I'm here with Jim Desange. Okay, okay. So, have you ever been stereotyped before? Yes. Okay. Uh, in what ways, man? Uh, I've caught Curry Man and uh, <laughs> told I'm smart, which I am. Yeah, okay. okay. And, and how does this make you feel, man? It doesn't really make me feel bad, honestly. Yeah. I kind of like it. It, it gives me motivation. No, I know. But do you really like being called Curry Man? Or does that make you feel sad? Uh, words don't hurt. Where's the hurt? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, how do you feel we can get rid of these stereotypes, man? Just so, like, uh, everyone can live peacefully. I don't think you can really get rid of them. I think people are just gonna keep getting stereotypes. Okay, for sure, man. Yeah. Alright, appreciate you. Thank you. Alright, I'm here with Thomas Carberry. Okay, the question is How can comics help us understand complex social issues? Uh, you know, they kind of. Just simplify it, I guess, in a way that we can understand. Cool. Thank you. Okay, I'm here with Natalie and Caitlin. Um, and our essential question is how can we challenge and eliminate stereotypes? We can challenge and eliminate stereotypes by thinking of the individual characteristics of people instead of automatically making assumptions about them. Yeah, I think the first thing that we can do to kind of challenge these stereotypes is to talk about them and bring them into the light. That way we can start producing them. Yeah, we have to like learn about them. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Yep. Okay, I'm Zana Boss and I'm here with Terrence. Okay, um, the question of today is how can comics help us understand uh, complex social issues? Comics reach a wider variety of people, which makes it interesting and therefore people want to learn more about stereotypes. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Alright, I'm Zena Boss, I'm here with and, Okay, so. Okay, bro. Um, so, how do you feel uh, stereotypes affect your personal identities? Like, how does stereotypes affect you? I feel like um, you shouldn't let it. If, it affects you if you let it. Like, to don't have a negative mindset towards it. Just, just, just you let it be. Yeah. Just, um, yeah, have a positive uh, mindset towards it. And how, how, how have you guys been uh, stereotyped before? Um, I feel like now we're all. Bro, he owes me money. That prick. Yeah. Been stereotyped um, in many ways. You know, the way I talk, the way, the way, the way I look, and the way I dress. Yeah. 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 All right, and the question is, how has stereotypes impacted uh, people's personal identities? Um, one time, one time, the last lady assumed I wanted a burrito. That's the issue. <laughs> 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 we can edit that out, though. I think we can edit that out. Okay, keep, keep, keep going. Oh, okay. Wait, what, what else does that make you feel? Oh, how, how does that make you feel? <laughs> Honestly, I was kind of happy because I actually like low-key wanted the burrito, but um, <laughs> I just had to think about it for a little bit. But, uh, I actually like the burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you, Jason. Yes, sir. Alright, I'm Zayn Abbas, and I'm here with Garrett Kamita. Yes, sir. Okay, so have you ever been stereotyped? Yes, I have. Okay. In, in what ways? Um, I've been looked at as someone who's supposed to be smarter than other people. Damn, and how does that make you feel, man? Um, uh, doesn't make me feel good, but at the same time it's fast. So I'm <laughs> oh, shit, I can't say shit. Oh, I can't say shit. I'm gonna edit it out, I'm gonna edit it out. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, hold on, ask me one more time. Okay. So, like, how do you feel we can get rid of these stereotypes, man? Like, um, to be honest with you, it's extremely hard to get rid of stereotypes because, like, people will tell you that I don't think it in their head. Oh, fuck, shit. What am I saying? 
Sorry, one more time. Ask the exact same question. I'm so sorry. I literally okay. had it in my mind. So how do you prove we can get rid of stereotypes? Oh, um, to be honest with you, I don't Thank think you. you can really get rid of stereotypes, mainly because people will say like they don't stereotype you, even though they still, in their mind, think. <laughs> I can't do that. Okay. Okay, that's good. Thank you.